Kwa hivyo ni wakati wa kwema wa kuwalika mchungaji Pastor Lucas na ili aingie katika madhabahu atuletee neno la siku ya leo. Asante mchungaji Jogi, asante wa Ibai, niomba tukae. Wanapendeza, wanapendeza. Tunashukuru Mungu mnapendeza asanteni sana na mmetuongoza vizuri. Msalimie jirani yako mwenye karibu katika ibada. Today I want to I want to teach. Kufundisha. And uh, we've been uh, doing our leadership classes but we want to go deeper in uh, in understanding our vision as a ministry and the ministry we are as strong as uh, the intensity or have the much will understand our vision and be committed to it. Because unless we understand our vision as a ministry, we will not understand why we are here. But once we understand our we 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 understand our vision, then uh, we will be more effective in serving God in your area of uh, in your department or in the area of your calling. And uh, I want us to have our 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 vision projected. And uh, if it's possible, if you can write, I want each one of us to write that. Because uh, that's the vision that God gave to our vision. As an institution, we are tied together by the vision that God gave to our vision. The vision that God gave our vision, the vision that God gave our vision is the reason we exist. Without the vision, we do not exist. Because uh, when God called Bishop into ministry, he gave him a vision. And the vision talks about the end. And you know when we talk about a vision, this is something that the Creator wanted established on earth. So he put it in our vision and he gave it to him as an assignment. So uh, we are, uh, unless we understand that vision, we are not going to be effective. We are not going to be committed. So we need to understand the vision. The other thing that we need to know, when you see God giving someone a vision, it's an answer to a problem. Or let me say this. There is a need in the world. So God wants to meet that need. For God to be able to meet that need. He will call someone. Then he will put a vision in him. Kama jawabu to the need that's in the world. Kama chikwa mahitaji 
So anytime you see a vision, it is a liberation. It's God given. The person that has been given the vision does not own the vision. But he's, he's acting on behalf of God. So every time we come together, we should know that we've come together to help Bishop fulfill his vision. So we say that there is a need in the world. I want you to I want to welcome you into Genelim as we go through this uh, vision together. Because I'm trusting God that all of us are called. All of us are here because we are here to support our vision. So we should understand the calling that God has given us. And so it's important to understand our vision. Because this is our vision. This is the reason we are together. Our vision reads. Transformed family of believers impacting the world with Christ's new life. Yani, ni jami ilio, jami ya waumi ilio badlisha ili iweze kubadlisha ulimwengu na maisha mapia ya Yesu Christo. I hope all of us have written this. Na mimi kila moja meandika and uh, I want us to look at some few keywords that will help us understand this vision better. For the coming few weeks, we'll concentrate more on training and the teachings. Because we want all of us to understand that where we are here. When you come into Jesus' new life ministry, understand the reason we exist. Once you understand where, why we exist, When you join us, un, 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 then you will understand who we are and uh, why we do things the way we do them. Wherever you've written this, uh, I want you to underline the word transformed. And when we talk about transformation, we are talking about the inner transformation. Uh, and Ezekiel, Ezekiel talked about a new heart. A new heart. And his prayer was for the children of Israel. He, he, he trusted that God is going to give them a new heart. He is going to remove the heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. This meant an inner transformation. 
transformation. When we talk about transformed, let me use this language. That is the circumcision of the heart. So if there is an inward change that comes to you. So as you get into Jesus new life ministry, and let me say this that transformation is gradual. It's a transformation is gradual, it's a step by step. And we get transformed as we expose ourselves to the world of God then God will give us hearts that are, that are hearts uh, that will receive his word when we talk about transformation or transformed or transformed it means being changed changing the condition of your heart so that you are receptive to the things of the kingdom of God we cannot be able to be receptive to the things of the kingdom of God All of us are fighting our own nature. Your old self does not want to undergo through a change. Yeah, come on, do my 
Because unless we are transformed, And influencing 
na kushawishi as where you affect your environment without using force ni mahali ambapo mambo yanafanyika yakifuata bila wewe kutumia nguvu so there is a place you go to kwa hiyo kuna mahali una una unaenda ukaenda if people are using vulgar language they stop kama kuna watu We are influencing you. 
kujua Kristo na nguvu za utukufu wake. He knew alijua that if you want to manifest the kingdom kwa mtakao unataka kudhihirisha ufalme then he had to manifest the power of the kingdom. Lazima udhihirishe nguvu za ufalme. I'm calling the church today. Ninaita kanisa leo. Let's desire to walk in the realm of impartation. Tutamani kutembea katika kiwango cha udhihirisho. Oh, no. 
on the on the television or on your handset for hours. Na ndio unaona unaweza ukaketi ukitazama ti runinga yako ama simu yako kwa masaa marefu. Because the devil wants to capture your mind. Kwa sababu shetani anataka kukamata mawazo yako. If you want to know what loses your mind or rules you, ikitaka kujua ni nini kinaongoza mawazo yako ama wewe. Is what you give your time. Ni 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 ukiangalia ni wapi masaha yako mengi yako. If you give much of your time to your phone, kama masaha yako mengi natumia kwa simu, then I'm sorry to say that's your god. Basi ni 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 sawa kusema kwamba huyo ndiye Mungu. So the world has systems. Wewe ulimwangu na mifumo. I'll touch and I'll mention a few of those systems that have been created by the devil to rule the world. And tatana mifumo tu michache ya haya ambayo inaundwa ili kutawala ulimwengu. One of the system is entertainment. Mfumo mmoja ni wa entertainment. Kufurahi entertainment so there is an entertainment all around you kuna kuna kutubuizwa kila 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 mahali so if you open your phone when you want to phone go see you can you will get anything that you want unaweza kupata chochote unachotaka go to your laptop enda kwa laptop yako you get every all form of entertainment unapata chochote ambacho unataka in fact most of those apps are free na apps zingine ambazo ziko na mambo haya kutukuiza ni bure certain ones to capture to continue capturing our minds kwa sababu shetani anataka kuendelea kushika mawazo let me say this hebu niseme that the people who are in the world ya kwamba watu walioko ulimwengu want us to manifest wanataka to dehidration they want the god has called us together as the genuine family mungu ametuita pamoja kama familia genuine and he's sending us to the world na anatutuma ulimwengu because there are people who are caught up in those worldly systems kwa sababu kuna watu wameshikwa na mifumo ya ulimwengu there are people who are, who are caught by the entertainment system kuna watu wameshikwa na hiyo mifumo ya kutumbuiza Oh, it's a feel good thing. 
Then we go home and the world is waiting. Tell your neighbor the world is waiting. The world is waiting. The world is waiting for me. And because our work is in the world, we should understand the dynamics that are in the world. Another another system that all the people captive is religion. When we talk about religion, let me say this. Everything. Religion was not started by Jesus Christ. There is no fire in the Bible that Jesus Christ came to start a religion. Religion is a, is a human innovation. If we look at all the teachings of Jesus Christ, he talked about the kingdom. So Jesus manifested on earth manifested on earth so that he may establish the kingdom of God on earth and let me say this religion is causing more harm on earth than anything else because people serve their religion more than the kingdom. They understand their religion more than the Bible. If you read Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, And he had gone into the wilderness and now he has come to start his ministry. The Bible says from that, and that that's in Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. If you read the book of Matthew, chapter 3, 4, 5, you see Jesus Christ introducing the kingdom. And the, the same chapter in verse 23, in a, uh, read, eh? Jesus went through Galilee, teaching in their synagogue, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. I pray that God is going to give us holy anger. Holy anger. That you can't sleep when things are going wrong. You can't be happy when things are going wrong. You can't be, you can't just sit when your brother, your sisters are suffering. And you say, I'm Jesus New Life Ministry. I've been called by my Lord and Savior 
Nimetoka kwa na vijana katika mambo ya ulevi. I'm tired of burying young men and women. Nimetoka kuzika vijana na wasichana na wavulana. Let's take a step. Unachukua hatua. Take a step. Unachukua hatua. Get into the world. Unaingia ulimwengu. Do what you've got to do. Unafanya vile unapaswa. So if you are Jesus new life ministries, wewe kama mmoja wa onduma ya Jesus new life and we just sit there when things are going wrong wakati mambo yanaenda muraba then you're not doing our vision just basi wewe haufanyi vizuri katika mambo haya so uh, today i wanted to talk about uh, our vision ndio leo nilikuwa nataka kuongea kuhusu and I want us to stand up. One thing that I want us to do. Let's refuse the familiar spirit. And our teacher spirit. And our prayer number three. Ask God to circumcise our hearts. To release the mungu let's ask God to circumcise our hearts you know let's get tired to talk we are in church for 20 years and our lives are the same we are in church for 20 years we are fighting the same battles let's get to another level let's get to another level Let's get to another level. Let's ask God to forgive us for getting familiar with the man of God, for getting familiar with the word of God. Let's ask God to forgive us for getting familiar with the word of God, Let's go before God. Ukukusoma <laughs> Baba, tu sabe baba, tu sabe baba, 
Shikariba, Shindere Puriro, Shikariba Puriro, Oko Sarama Shindere, Shikariba Puriro, Oko Sarama Shikariba, Shantarama Puriro, Oko Sarama Shindere. Let's pray that God and Tuomba Mungu may match your new year to your wisdom from Buliwa. In Tuomba Zuru, welcome to the Kia Mungu, Uzuri Wakusoma Neno, Uzuri Wakuskia Neno, Roboko Sarama Shikariba Puriro, Oko Sarama Shindere. Robo Costa, Rabba Shikariba, Purina Vashan Karama, Robo Costa, Rabba Shikariba, Baba Fumua, we are Macho and your hair to Baba, Kill it your folk and your hair to Kill I now Kubo, Kill I now Kubo, Kill Baba Kachina, the rest of Christo, Natu Ku and the Namaka, King Yumacha to Akane, King Yumacha, Nifuma and Dunia, Kill and Fumua Dunia, who now Funga. Take us 
away from our comfort zones. Take us away from our comfort zones, O oh God. Do not give us peace until, Jehovah God, you do what we do, what you've called us to do at Jesus' new life ministry. Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt you. Let's all lift our hands up before God as we believe God that through the Holy Spirit will get a new fire. That's what I desire. A new fire. That I'm not get used to the things of the kingdom. I'm not get familiar with the things of the kingdom. I'll get a new fire. I'll not sleep before I pray and read the word. I'll witness like crazy everywhere I go. And we need that fire. We need that fire. Ask God, give me a new fire. Go, 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 go. Everyone pray. Ask God to give you a new fire. Ask God to give you a new fire. As we, we get into the world.